Pisces, what's up? How's it going? Welcome to your weekly love reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, guys. So at the end of this reading, I will answer a yes or no question for you. So throughout the reading, try to think of a question you have for me so I can answer that for you to be the very last thing that I do right after I pull your energy with all the different signs. All right. All right, here we go. Thank you guys so much for being here. I greatly appreciate all of you. Make sure you check out your entire month of February love readings. Um, there are an entire month of February general love, there's a singles, and there's a bonus Valentine's Day. So I will show these to you once I get them all out as well. So far we have the Ace of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, Strength, the Chariot, the Lovers, oh my gosh, three majors in a row and the four of coins. All right, so you are coming in this week in this eight of wands, sexed up Pisces. <laughs> All right, so this is you either having an opportunity for a new beginning here with somebody or uh, you're wanting one. You, it's like some kind of a new attraction. All right, ace of wands is a new beginning, but it's real fast moving. It's it's all about attraction, passion, sex, all that. So we don't know how long it's gonna last yet, um, but it's fun while it's there. So if you're already in a relationship, it could just be like a renewed spark. Let's get one on that Ace of Wands. What is this Ace of Wands all about for Pisces? The Ace of Swords, no shit. Back-to-back -back aces in your own energy. So the Ace of Swords is an epiphany. You might have like an epiphany about somebody that you're attracted to. You might tell somebody that you're attracted to them. This is honest conversation. Um, it's clarity. Ooh, nice guys. Let's get another one on that. The Five of Wands, why? Why is there drama? So this is drama, there's something here um, it could just be some competition. You could have a lot of people into you. You could be into somebody that has a lot of people into them. It can be some jealousy. Um, back and forth though, drama, it's petty. It might be like something, you know, some kind of truth coming out that somebody's like jealous or somebody's having some kind of a disagreement here. Let's see, what's this five of wands? The knight of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, it could be with another water sign here, um, but it's about feelings. It's about, so the Knight of Cups is super flirty, romantic, knight in shining armor type shit. It's genuine emotion. It's just younger or not at a very high emotional level yet, but that doesn't mean it's not real. We just don't know, but this would be like, um, you could be into somebody that's like real flirty with like everybody or they could view you you that way and it's kind of causing some kind of jealousy here. So with the Ace of Swords, it's like there might just need to be a conversation about it or, you know, a conversation about actual feelings here because it looks real sexed up. But then we have the Knight of Cups, which is actual emotion becoming involved. Again, not at a very high level yet, but still present, still something, right? Now, in the recent past, you have the five of coins here. So in the recent past, this is just breakup. Everybody has a breakup in their past, right? So it's whatever. Um, but since it's in your recent past, it's probably, even if the breakup wasn't recent, it's it was still affecting you or the person that you're dealing with. This is the feeling of being left out in the cold, like literally left, um, being rejected, abandoned, ghosted, whatever. So this is in your recent past. So you either had that happening to you recently or you're dealing with somebody who who did, right? Um, let me get another one on that. I don't generally clarify the past because I try to stay away from the past when I'm doing these, but since it's such a shitty energy, I'll clarify it for you guys. You know, because it might not be yours and if it's the other person, you kind of want to know what you're getting yourself into. Right? All right, what's this five of coins? What's this five of coins? Guys, I have a sore throat. So I'm like trying to be like 
slower and quieter when I'm talking, so I'm sorry if I sound slow. I'm just trying to get through these without losing my voice. Okay, yeah, the Eight of Cups, same energy. It's just a walking away from a disappointing situation. So that really didn't tell me anything else. It's just a confirmation. So I'm going to get another one. Strength, Leo. Wow, interesting. And you have this here in your present too. So you've got double Leo here. You could definitely be dealing with one. Um, hopefully it's not a Leo X coming back. Either way, there is a lot of overcoming rejection issues, overcoming abandonment issues, overcoming disappointment. Um, and again, you've got strength in your presence. So overcoming your obstacles here are heavily dealing with a Leo. Um, it's confidence. It's being able to have the courage to go after whatever it is that you want here. <coughs> it's also about patience. Like a situation you're in might require some patience or you know, kind of like a holding back. All right, let's get one on that strength energy. The Eight of Swords. Yes, yeah, somebody's like really overthinking something. Somebody is really overthinking, overanalyzing, being all stuck up in their head. So it can be that somebody feels like, um, again, this is you or them. You'll just have to decide who it is somebody could feel like they are restricted from taking any action right now like they're bound and with the strength there they have to like hold themselves back because for some reason there's some kind of some kind of energy of being restricted however that restricted energy with the eight of swords it's not real that's all mental that's not being restricted for real it's just either in their head or in yours. Whoever's in this energy, it's not, it's not a real restriction. It's not, it's not legitimate. All right, what's this Eight of Swords? The moon, Pisces, there you are showing up right in the middle of your own reading. I love that for you. So it's you being in your energy but aside from that, the moon is hidden shit. There's some things under the surface here that we don't know yet. There's still some things that either the other person isn't revealing or you're not revealing. And I don't know that it's you because you're all ace of swords. You're all, you know, getting to the truth, getting to clarity. Um, but they might not be just yet. So let's see. What is this moon all about? Why is the moon here for Pisces? The Queen of Wands reversed because somebody's not confident enough yet. Somebody's confidence, self-worth is just not great right now. They don't feel good about themselves. They don't feel good about their self-image, their whatever. They might be really unmotivated. Um, and I don't think this is you. I mean, you're all, all about the truth and all about passion up there. So this is going to be your other person. More fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's get another one on that. The Knight of Wands, interesting, interesting. This is hookup shit, guys. This is like hookup shit. Um, somebody might feel like that's that's all they can offer right now. Something like, it's inconsistent, it's fun, it's hot, but it's inconsistent, but it might be that that's all that somebody has the energy for right now. And the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yet yeah, somebody's trying to be really smart about a situation and not let their emotions get in the way here. But there are emotions. Again, not that deep yet, but they're there. But somebody's really trying to keep them out of it. Um, the conversation's good. This is an intelligent person. Um, interesting all right anyway your potential obstacle is the lover so gemini you could have a gemini that's kind of problematic in your love life right now otherwise this is somebody might be already in a connection with somebody else and it's causing a problem 
um, or somebody could have somebody that they were in a connection with that's still around like hovering and causing a problem. All right, let's see here. Why is the lovers here as an obstacle? Why is the lovers here as an obstacle? The Ace of Swords. Again with the Ace of Swords. Why is somebody's truth a problem for somebody else? What the fuck? Did you guys hear that? What the fuck was that? I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but it just sounded like... It sounded like somebody in my room, like, groan. There's nobody in here. There's not even another animal in here right now that I know of. What the fuck, dude? I hope that's in this video. I hope you can share it. Oh my God. Okay, anyway. The Hermit, Virgo. Um, okay, so there might be an issue here with somebody that you have some kind of a soul connection with that could be a divine counterpart for you. However, they're hiding. They're like in hermit mode right now, or you are. Um, we have the Ace of Swords here, so there's some there's some clarity that needs to come about in this connection. There's a conversation that needs to happen. There's a breakthrough that needs to happen, and I think that you're going to make it happen because you have that Ace of Swords in your own energy. But for some reason, there's some truth that needs to come out here about a connection, but somebody's really closed off. Like somebody is like isolated not leaving their house like inside themselves the whole way very introverted um so i don't know you might have to like pry it out of them or something okay in your immediate future you have the chariot which is cancer you could have a cancer coming in in the future um or or either way whatever the chariot is forward movement so the way that this is going right here where things are just like eh, stuck but not like it, there's some hidden things here that you know what I mean but it is going to move forward this is victory and this is also travel if you need to travel if they need to travel this is this is it's really good for travel it's good for forward movement you know in every kind of way victory success all that shit let's get one on the chariot The Seven of Cups, but somebody's still confused. Somebody is still confused in the future. It's kind of living in like a fantasy world. Um, there just might be a lot of options for you in the future. Oh boy, and the Six of Cups. So, oh geez. Six of Cups is past. You could have somebody coming back from your past. You could be visiting somebody from your past. Um, it could just be nostalgia kind of making somebody confused, um, confusion over the past, or this can be somebody that you're coming in contact with that has a past life connection with you. You might not even know them in this life. All right, I'm going to get another one on that. What's the six of cups for Pisces? The star, Aquarius. The star is universal blessings. This is healing, rejuvenation, replenishment from the universe. It's like the universe is like pouring all this healing energy all over you and all over something from the past, whether it's this life past or a past life. All right. Um, but it's also manifestations. It's wishes coming true. All good. Let's get one on the star. Oh my gosh. And the four of wands is 11-11. Do you see the wands like look like an 11? That's why I call it that. Um, but this is marriage. This is moving in together. This is celebration, soulmate shit, all the stability. Like this is a stable foundation. This is what you would want in a love relationship. If you're actually looking for something that's, you know, real and not just hook up. Um, but it's there. And it's really cool for it to come in with the star and that being, you know, wish fulfillment and the four of wands is the 1111 card. So that's super fucking cool. All right. Um, your advice is the four of coins. <laughs> the four of coins. 
All right, why? Why do you need to hold back right now? Let's see. What's this four of coins all about? What is the four of coins all about for Pisces? Why is the four of coins here for Pisces? The Ace of Pentacles reversed because somebody might not be ready to commit yet. Um, either you or them, but somebody isn't ready for a long-term commitment yet, so you might just need to hold back a little bit for now. Oh my gosh, and the Four of Wands again, 11-11, again. Um, but it's not permanent, it's just kind of temporary. It's a temporary like holding back before, you know, to clear all this other shit out. Um, and this, this is only a week long reading, so it's not 10 years from now or anything. Um, but this is, again, stability coming in. It might just be that you need to hold out for what it is that you're looking for. If that's what you're looking for, that whole stability, living together, getting married, whatever it is that you're into, it might just be that you need to hold back until, until you come across that, until it's exactly what you want it to be. And the Seven of Pentacles. So this is investing. Um, this is investing in something that is meant to be stable, right? Um, so I think it's just, if that's what you're looking for, and not everybody is, so if you're not, that's cool too. Um, but if that's what you're looking for, then you need to just like hold back until you find that and don't invest in connections that aren't going to be long term if you're looking for something long term because that makes no sense right <laughs> all right it's like if you are saying that you want something long term and committed but you're putting energy into situations that are never going to be that way then you're sending the universe mixed messages and it's not going to know what to put in your path okay all right let's get your energy with the different signs so majors we have here so far, we have double Leo, we have Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, and Aquarius. All right. <clears throat> Pisces dealing with Aries. What is that for my Pisces friends dealing with Aries? Pisces and Aries. The Emperor reversed, well, that's Aries energy, but it's reversed. So if you're dealing with an Aries, um, they are very unevolved Aries. Likely they act like a controlling and demanding asshole. And they could even be like abusive, like controlling to the point of like a fucking narcissist. All right, Pisces dealing with Taurus. The Five of Cups reversed. If you're dealing with a Taurus, um, they are coming to a place in their life where they're resolving past baggage. If you have a past with them, they're kind of getting over that. Um, but it's, it's coming out of a place of regret and starting to see like a silver lining in something. Pisces dealing with Gemini, which you had in this reading. Pisces and Gemini. The Three of Cups. You could be reuniting with a Gemini. You could be meeting one through friends and family. Um, if you are already with one, this can be engagement, but I didn't see that in this reading. Pisces dealing with cancer, which you had here as well. I forgot to mention that with your majors, but you do have cancer here. Cancer, you have the nine of swords reversed. So if you're dealing with a cancer and there were issues there, anxiety, depression issues with that connection or with that person, they are being resolved, they are healing. <coughs> Pisces dealing with Leo. Pisces and Leo. The Four of Swords. So if you're dealing with a Leo, they're probably hiding out. They're retreating. They're either having some kind of a physical illness or they're healing from something emotionally and they're just taking some time for their soul. Pisces dealing with Virgo. Pisces and Virgo. The Two of Wands. So if you're dealing with a Virgo, it's time to decide which direction you want that connection to go it's like at a crossroads there you're either going to go down that path or you're not pisces dealing with libra pisces and libra the magician reversed well somebody feels like they're not able to manifest anything in that connection or there might just be some lack of motivation some manipulation possibly pisces dealing with scorpio pisces and scorpio 
the page of swords, new communication coming in. Um, if you are already dealing with a Scorpio, you, one of you could be watching the other one's social media, or this is new communication coming in. Somebody just trying to investigate the other one. Pisces dealing with Sagittarius. Pisces and Sagittarius, the Page of Wands. New communication coming in from a Sagittarius, but this one is sex-based, all right? It might go further, who knows, but that's how it's gonna start out. Pisces dealing with Capricorn. Pisces and Capricorn, the world. So if you're dealing with a Capricorn, that's either run its course and it's done and over. Not in a bad way though. Um, it's just, you guys might have outgrown each other. If you are in a healthy connection with a Capricorn, then it is where it's at is complete and it's time for it to move up to the next level. All right, Pisces dealing with Aquarius. Pisces and Aquarius, strength. You had that in this reading, I believe twice. Um, so this one could be with um, an Aquarius, which came out here as well. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, um, there might need to be some patience in that connection, some patience, some courage. There might be some obstacles that need to be overcome, but they will be, okay? Pisces dealing with Pisces. Pisces and Pisces. The hangman, nobody doing anything there. You guys might both be waiting on the other one to take some action um, or just kind of hanging out, not really. It's just kind of whatever, nobody doing shit. All right, um, let's get you some additional messages here before I pull your yes or no. All right, additional messages for Pisces in love this week. Additional messages for Pisces in love. The five of winters, the five of pentacles, walk away from dishonest associations. And we had that in your past here. Realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best for your happiness. Something that's just not worth the effort. Yeah, it's leaving something or somebody behind can be actually walking away from somebody or just ghosting somebody. And the seven of spring is a seven of wands. So this is about protecting yourself, standing your ground, right? Be assertive, don't back down from what you believe. It's being really guarded, just protecting yourself from whatever. It seems like somebody's just being shitty. The 10 of autumn is the 10 of pentacles. Again, it's, this is long-term commitment. If you are looking for long-term commitment, just wait for that, right? Um, this is also about your money. Your money looks good. With the Five of Pentacles here, I know this is love, but I have to say this. With the Five of Pentacles here, that's like lack mentality. It can be homelessness. It can be losing a job, losing a home, or just, you know, feeling like you're broke. So you might need to like protect your money here so that you can get to this 10 of pentacles so you can get more like financially on your feet but it's happening okay i just had to say that because yeah all right let's get your yes or no <coughs> all right pisces yes or no for my pisces friends yes or no for pisces Yes or no, Pisces? Yes or no? That's a yes with the hangman reversed. I hope you guys wanted it to be. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today.